Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking a ferromagnetic core with a relative permeability of 1500 is shown in the figure below. The diamond sensor as diamond shown in the diagram, and the depth of the core is 5 cm. The air gaps on the left and right sides of the core are 0 0.07 and 0 0.05 cm, respectively. Because of fringing effects, the effective area of the air gaps is 5% larger than their physical size. If there are 300 turns in the coil wrapped around the center leg of the core and if the current in the coil is 1 ampere, what is the flux in each of the left, cen left center and right legs of the core and what is the flux density in each air gap? Now let's see how to do that. First of all, let's note something down before we go and do the problem. This core can be, this core can be divided and be divided up into five regions. Five regions. Let R1 be, R1 be the reluctance. reluctance of the of the left handed left handed handed portion of the core of the core arc 2 can be can be the reluctance of the left handed air gap r3 can r3 be the reluctance of the right hand portion R3 R3 be the reluctance of the right hand portion portion of the core R4 be the reluctance of the right hand air gap. Air gap. And R5 be the reluctance of the center. Be the reluctance of the center. Mm, center. And uh, then the total reluctance of the core is then the total reluctance of the core is this is the equation we can calculate the total reluctance that is r total is equal to r5 plus r1 plus r2 times R3 plus R4 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 okay the center one comes in the here all the others are adds up and multiplies 
and divide the addition okay now let's go ahead and calculate each of the reluctance let's calculate r1 r1 is the reluctance of the left handed region left um left handed region okay now let's go and calculate l1 over the equation is l1 over mu r mu naught a1 okay here the left handed region the total distance is 7 centimeter okay here 30 centimeter 7 centimeter 37 67 114 one point <coughs> here we have a 0 0.07 centimeter gap so the length is totally we have 37 44 okay left handed region 30 Totally, it's up adds up to 1.11 meter divided by mu r is given in the question that is 1500. 1500 times mu naught is 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 henries per meter multiplied by the area. Area is length times the height that's 0 0.07 meter times 0 0.05 0 0.07 meter times 0 0.05 meter and that gives us 168 kilo ampere times turns per Weber now R2 same equation I directly put it instead of whenever i put r2 it means l2 and area will be a2 that's the difference i directly put the values to reduce the space r2 length is 0, 0, 0, 0.007 meter divided by 4 5 times 10 to the power of 7 this is the air gap okay so we don't have mu r because if it's an air gap mu not alone multiply by the area that is 0 0.07 meter multiplied by 0 0.05 meter and uh, that one multiplied by 1.05 and this gives us 152 kilo ampere turns per Weber <coughs> then R3 same equation 1.11 meter divided by 1500 multiplied by 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 henry's per meter 0 0.07 times 0 0.05 meter that gives us 108 kilo ampere turns per Weber then R4 mm -hmm. for this one this is 168 168 then for R4 R4 is the other side of the space the R gap that is 0 0.0005 meter divided by 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 air gap mean we only have mu naught we don't have the mu r henry's per meter multiplied by 0 0.07 meter times 0 0.05 meter and that gives us 108 kilo ampere turns per Weber. 
we have one more relaxed chance to calculate that's the middle part let's get rid of this to calculate the middle part that's r5 we use l5 over mu r mu naught as that's going to give us 0 0.37 meter divided by 1500 multiplied by 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 times 0 0.07 meter multiplied by 0 0.05 meter and that gives us 56.1 kilo ampere turns per Weber and that is the reluctant 5 now the total reluctance we are going to use this equation let's note down all the values reluctance 1 we calculated it to be 168 kilo ampere i just put the values to reduce the space our reluctance 1 is 168 reluctance 2 is 152 reluctance 3 is 168 reluctance 4 is 108 and reluctance 5 is 56.1 all of them are kilo so let's put k right here okay let's get rid of all these things Okay, here I, I'm going to apply this all the values in this equation. So this is going to be R total. Uh, let's neglect the kilo. Finally, we can put the kilo together. So 56.1 plus 168 plus 152 multiplied by 168 plus 108 divided by 168 plus 152 plus 168 plus 108 and that gives us 204 kilo ampere times turns per Weber this is the total reluctance now total flux of the core in the center leg can be calculated by using this formula phi center that's also equal to phi total that's equal to magnetomotive force divided by r total magnetomotive force is n times i n is the turns 300 turns 300 t multiplied by the current here the current is 1 ampere so let's multiply this one by 1 ampere divided by r total that's what we calculate right here that is 204 kilo ampere turns Weber and if you calculate this one you are going to get 0 0.00147 Weber <coughs> now the next thing is we are going to calculate left right left uh, left and right that's the question is asking magnetic flux in the left and right and also finally we are going to find out the flux density in each air gap now let's calculate the magnetic flux in the left and right to calculate that one phi left is equal to r3 plus r4 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 multiplied by phi total and uh, as, I, as you can see R3 is 168 168 plus 108 over 168 plus 152 plus 168 plus 108 multiplied by phi total phi total we calculated right here that is 0 0.00147 0 0.00147 0 0.00147 
Weber and that gives us 0 0.00068 Weber. This is the left, this is the left flux. Now let's look at the right flux, phi right. <coughs> that is equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 multiplied by phi total. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. 168 plus 152 divided by 168 plus 152 plus 168 plus 108 multiply by phi total that's 0 0.00147 Weber and this gives us 0 0.00079 Weber and this is right side that is the question is asking for left side and right side now the next thing is we are going to calculate the magnetic flux in the left side of the air gap and the right side of the air gap. Let's get rid of all these things in the top. And continue here. Okay, let's use a different color, red color. Phi is equal to B times A. Now here we have what we are trying to find B. B left side. B left is if I rearrange this phi left over A left. A left. Phi left is what we calculated right here. 0 0.00068 Weber. 0 0.00068 Weber divided by a left that is 0 0.07 centimeter multiply by 0 0.05 centimeter multiply by 1.05 and that gives us 0 0.185 tesla now for the right the right same equation phi right divided by a right right phi right is 0 0.00079 Weber divided by A right. A right is same as the previous one that is 0 0.07 centimeter multiplied by 0 0.05 centimeter multiplied by 1.05 and that gives us 0 0.215 Tesla and this is the final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn electromechanical system, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.